Here are all the hidden country tags in Hearts of Iron 4. Before we mention the hidden tags, I first want to mention dynamic tags, which vary from D01 all the way to D75. Before Bible alone, however, they only went up to D50. In my China video, where I made 50 Chinas using no commands, I mentioned that they don't work beyond the D56 tag, and I haven't checked recently, but I assume that's still the case. And let's not forget that the D01, D02, and D03 are reserved for Spanish Civil War. Let's keep in mind, however, that the Spanish original tag is SPR, all those other tags, D01, D02, and D03, are equivalent to the tags of SPA, SPB, and SPC. In normal set of circumstances, Nationalist Spain, after the Spanish Civil War, has the SPR tag. The tag SPA or D01 is reserved to Republican Spain, while the SPB or D02 is actually Carlos Spain, and finally the SPC or D03 is the Anarchist Spain. Talking about the hidden tags, we should not forget to mention Germany, which has many of them, let's just say that. First things first, let's not forget the East and West Germany, which are recently kind of forgotten because now you get 50 Germanys instead of 2 because that's realistic. First things first, we got the East Germany, which has the DDR tag, it's German Democratic Republic, and by default it's communist. For some reason, when they go fascist, their name is DNSR, when they go not aligned, they're Kingdom of Prussia, and when they go democratic, they have this really weird looking Scandinavian type of flag. The other Germany is obviously the West Germany, Federal Republic of Germany, which has WGR tag. Now let's just say that it has a funny fascist name. Besides these two, there's obviously other tags, which you can get when you play as France and divide Germany up into all those states. While doing this as France, you get Bavaria right here, which has a tag BAY, which is obviously Bayern. Then we got the Mecklenburg, which is right here, which has a tag MEK. Prussia, which is the biggest one, has a tag PRE, as Prussian. Then we got the Saxony, which has a tag SAX. Hanover has the tag Han, obviously. While the Württemberg has tag WUR. And finally, there is Schleswig Holstein with the tag SHL. One thing that also should be noted is if you go for the 11th of November preset, and if you start the game, you obviously get this. The crown of Castile here is actually the actual Spain. Galicia is Galicia, and also Navarra is Navarra. Now you might think that the Aragon has special tag, but it's actually just Catalonia with the additional course. However, the country that does have a special tag right here is Al-Andalus, and its tag is ADU. Even in the regular game, the tag does exist, but it doesn't have any course. And unfortunately, in vanilla game, you can't even get it, and even if you would get it, you can't form Al-Andalus with it. However, in the special 11th of November preset, you can kind of do things with it, and it's kind of fun. Moving on from Spain, finally. While well, the game files, I also find two more tags, RDS and RSI, which has to do something with Italy. It basically has to do with the Italy splitting up into two countries. However, those are not actual tags, they're just special attributes, so yeah, those are not the real tags. What also is not a real tag is Dalmatia and Vojvodina. When you decide to split up your country as Yugoslavia, you get to release Slovenia. By the way, it has a capital in Maribor because the paradox forgot to fix it. However, you can do a devolved Croatia. This splits up Croatia into Croatia and Dalmatia. Croatia is the real Croatia, while Dalmatia is basically the generic version of Croatia. It has all the cores that Croatia usually does, but it has a special flag and some special things. And regardless of what ideology you go to, it always has the same name and also the same flag. But after you divide Bosnia or protect Bosnia and dissolve the Benate of Serbia, if you do autonomy for Slavic Transylvania, you're gonna get not only Transylvania right here, which does exist, it does have some cores, but you also get Vojvodina, which didn't exist up until this point. It once again utilizes the dynamic game tag. As for all the other Yugoslav countries, such as Bosnia or Herzegovina, even, they do have their own tags. Moving a bit east, in Russia, we have our backroom countries of Kuban Republic and Don Republic, or basically Kuban host and Don host. These countries have QB and uh, DON tags, respectively. But anyway, these are not these borders. You can get them if you go for Bermothian King, basically the Cossack King as Poland. You can get these two countries, but I never really did it, and yeah, that's it. Anyway, that's almost it. We only got two more tags to discuss. Those have to do with the United States and their civil war. If the AI is controlling the Confederate States of America, there is a special tag for that, and it's called CSA. The funny thing is it's democratic by default. Obviously at the start of the game it doesn't have any course, but if you would somehow get to control it, you could actually hire a, a communist revolutionary, and you could literally become confederacy of American workers. 
And there is one more hidden tag, once again having to do with the United States and their civil war. And that's the USB tag. I'm not even kidding, it's actually USB and this is its color, it's really ugly color in my opinion. And what this essentially is, is basically the unaligned states of America. Believe it or don't, it does have all the staff available, unlike some countries. And here's the coolest part about it. If you change your ideology, it does change its color, but it's always unaligned states of America. And if you're democratic as an United States of America, look at this. This flag looks kind of more saturated than the regular United States flag. Just look at it. It, it looks different. So yeah, guys, that's all the hidden tags and holy for that I can find. If you know some more of them, please tell me about them in the comments. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.